Hi everyone, this is Christian from GameOlex and I run support side by side with contributing to the development of our SDKs. And in this video, I'm going to showcase you how to instrument a Unity project with the GameOlex SDK. You can get the SDK from several sources. The most common way of getting it is to fetch it from the Unity Asset Store, but you can also get it from our GitHub repositories or from our AWS cloud. In this case, I'm going to showcase you how to download it from the Unity Asset Store. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the Asset Store. And once this window is finished loading, I will type in the search bar the name of our product. The very first hit should be Gameolix. And you go ahead and open that and you should see either an import button or a download button. In my case, I see an import button because I already downloaded the SDK beforehand. I'll click import now. And import once again. This project is empty. So we will be able to see more clearly what files will be added when importing the GameLX SDK. At this stage, the files are also being compiled. To check if the GameLX SDK has been added correctly, you should check the window menu of Unity where you should find a new option called GameLX. And we have it, so it seems everything went fine. The next step is to create a GameLX object. And this option basically creates a new game object within the current scene named GameLX. And also it will create a new asset called settings, which will contain all the settings for GameLX. First, let's uh, open the GameLX game object where we can see two files named GA special events and the GameLX uh, script. These two scripts will basically handle uh, the initialize process alongside with sending some dedicated events such as frames per second and so on. If I go ahead and open the settings project, it asks me to insert my credentials. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And that's my mail. And my password. So this asset has fetched for me all the information it needed to uh, be able to instrument a particular platform with a key or a, or a secret key. So in this case, I will showcase for iOS. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the iPhone player platform. And now it's asking me to select a studio. So I'll go ahead and select this one and I'll just go with this one. What it did was basically fetch from our servers the game key and secret key for this particular game. And at this stage, the project is ready to be tested with uh, all default events that are being sent by GameLX. So in other words, no custom events are being sent. If you are planning to target other platforms such as Android, PC, Mac, and so on, then you should create separate games in the tool for each platform. Different platforms tend to showcase different user behavior and it will prove to be very useful to have the analytics divided for them. The SDK supports all platforms listed by the settings object here. Now I'll go ahead and build a project for the iOS simulator and I will stop the video and continue the recording once the build is finished and it runs in Xcode. So I'll go ahead to file and build settings. And first I need to save my scene. And then within build settings, I'll add my scene and switch to the iOS platform. Go to player settings and make sure we are targeting the iOS simulator. And go ahead and build. And this is a good name. Click save. And now I'll wait. Now continue the video when this is finished. Okay, so you need to finish building the new Xcode project and I managed to open it within my Xcode. And I also run it for the iPhone simulator. 
And if I go ahead and open the simulator, I can see the scene running. And if I would like to check really fast if the integration was a success, I can just go ahead within the console, within Xcode, and search for analytics logs. Press Command F and then type in analytics. And as we can see, there is information here that is basically telling us the events are being sent successfully to the game analytics collectors. After a while, you can see some of these events in the live feed section of the real-time dashboard. So if you go ahead and open your game in a browser, go to the real-time dashboard and then to the live feed section. And here you will basically see the actual contents of events, uh, also their category and some basic stats. So far, this integration is enough for GA to calculate all core metrics such as new users, daily active users, retention, session length, and so on, except for monetization insights. For those, we would need to instrument business events. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.